Welcome Summoners. This is the last quest of Act 7.2. In this video, I will be taking the Icarus path. This path can be absolutely cheesed with Angela since there is the Icarus node. Angela is a pretty old and common champ so most people should have her at this point in game. If you do have her then definitely rank her up to at least rank 4 because she is pretty useful after her buff in various piece of content. In this path, there is Special Connoisseur which reduces damage from all sources by 90% except special attacks triggered with active prowess buffs. Angela doesn't have prowess buffs of her own but she is able to get them on her own with the buff synthesis node. So, her special attacks will be doing massive damage. She can easily clear the whole path on her own. The only troublesome fight is Guillotine 2099 because she can drain her power with an SP1 and also has that miss mechanic. Also her SP2 will start reversing the tiny bit of region Angela gets from her region buff. So, overall it's a pretty tough matchup for her. The best way to go about this fight is to fully heal Angela up, keep using heavy so that guillotine doesn't go invisible and bait SP2 since the power drain from SP1 will not allow us to throw any special and get the damage going. I tried to be cleaver and brought Magneto for that fight since Magneto has prowess and against metal champs, Magneto's SP3 will always obliterate but in this case there is Matador node as well so we can't gain regular power. Magneto has a bad habit of turning off all nodes whether they are good or bad so reaching to an SP3 will take forever but once he gets there he will surely rip Guillotine 2099 apart in pieces. That's it for the path. The final boss is Gwen Master. This path has the link which allows Gwen Master to get a pretty decent region whenever she's knocked down. To remove that region, we need to hit her immediately otherwise we will end up elongating the fight.
Alright so it's time for the Gwen Master fight. This fight is definitely way better as compared to some of the previous similar fights like 6.2 Champion and 6.4 Grand Master. This fight certainly takes quite a bit of skill and practice to get going but it's not a cash grab by any means. It's important to fully understand all her phases and mechanics. The name of the game is to complete the mission and break her plot armor within a set amount of time. That will deal her a huge amount of damage via her SP2 and is the main source of your damage against her. Failure to complete the mission when the timer hits will most probably knock you out. We can also extend this timer by intercepting a lot. The first phase is a tough one and can be pretty annoying as we need to take her out of the diamond phase four times and then evade her inverted special. This can take a lot of time depending on AI, and we can run out of time very easily. The next phase is the Killmonger one and is the easiest phase. We just need to keep hitting her and take the hit count to zero which will complete the mission. The next phase is Invisible Woman and it's also pretty easy. We just need to intercept and throw specials to gain furies and break her force field. 
The next phase is Dr. Doom which is also very easy. We need to throw heavy, SP-1, SP-2 and SP-3 in any order to complete this mission. Our power gain is also increased whenever she is knocked down so it makes it very easy to complete this mission in a timely manner. The next phase is Vision Arcus and for me it was the most difficult phase. We need to build 10 armor break on ourselves and then knock her down to complete this mission. Armor breaks are built whenever we are far away from her but she is super aggressive and when she gets close to us, she also deals a lot of unavoidable cold snap damage similar to Vision Arcus. The last phase is Iron Man Infinity War. She gains armors and we need to remove all of them to complete the mission. We can remove an armor by fourth light attack in a single combo. Armor breaking her by the likes of champs like Medusa, Iron Fist, etc. will only stop the gaining of additional armors for a short time. That's all the information about all her phases. Make sure that you are aware of what each phase requires before going into this fight. For me, this fight always remained a hit or a miss. Sometimes, I had really good runs and sometimes extremely poor but overall the fight was pretty enjoyable and fun. That's it for this video, enjoy. Thank you.